Hola, hola everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Roxanne. If it's your first time here, then welcome. And today I want to do the book reviewer tag. And this was created by the channel a Read a Book Gem. And I will link their information down below. And I saw this tag done on um, Emma's channel, Drinking by My Shelf, and I thought it was interesting so I wanted to do it myself. And so the first question is, where do you post your book reviews outside of booktube? Um, for example, Goodreads, social media retailers, blogs, etc. Um, I rate, I put my rating on Goodreads, but I will share some thoughts sometimes um, on Instagram, but for the most part this is the only this is the only medium by which I do book reviews. Number two, what is your star rating system? Uh, it is incredibly, incredibly subjective. I I do use half stars, but it's really just like emotion based. For the most part, I will use like I don't intend to read a lot of books that I hate, so typically the lowest that I'll go is three stars, and that's just when it was okay. Um, I enjoyed it, but it was nothing special. I'll do 3.5 if it's a little bit better. Um, for the most part, I think four is my is my what I use the most. I think, um, and then if it's obviously if, it's, if I find it to be just moving to an incredible degree and a favorite it's five stars but otherwise if I if I really 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 like it but there's just something holding me back from thinking of it as an all-time favorite it'll probably be anywhere from four to like 4.5 um I don't tend to use one or two stars I very rarely do and that's just because I dnf a lot and I don't rate books that I don't finish um and I don't tend to finish books that I, I think I'm gonna hate so much as to give them one or two stars. Number three, convince me to read a favorite book of yours in no more than five words. Um... Galileo! One of my favorite books is When I Was Puerto Rican by Esmeralda Santiago. Um, let's see. Memoir. Coming of age, <laughs> um, New Yorkian. Yes, those are the words that I'm going to use. Um, <laughs> which book number four? Which book was the hardest to review and why? Um, I don't really have an answer for this. For the most part, I think I th like I know what I feel about a book. Um, I think in a recent tag I said how like Orlando was weird for me to review and it was mostly just because I just wasn't interested but I somehow managed to finish it so I guess that one is the only thing that I can think of but for the most part I know how I feel about it so even if I'm not able to perfectly express in, in a sort of reviewer's terms what I did or didn't like about it I'm able to give you enough of just what I felt while reading it that I know that and so that sort of it gives me the answer that I need to know how to rate it at the very least. Are there any books you won't review or give a star rating to out of principle? If I don't read it, if I don't read it I'm not gonna give it a review or a star rating because I don't think you can you can or should, just my personal opinion, review things and rate them when you haven't experienced them in its totality. Um, so yeah. Number six, uh, viewing reviews. Number six, a book you really want to read has terrible reviews. Do you still read it? Um, it depends. If it's a favorite, if it's like an auto buy author of mine, I probably will. Um, but for the most part, no. I think there are just so many books to read in this world um, that I don't want to waste my time reading something that has such horrible reviews. And so, of course, I another sort of caveat to this is who is reviewing these books and why does it have low reviews if the reviews are low because it's like a known voices book and it's a bunch of people being like i couldn't relate to it that's that's not gonna that's not gonna dissuade me from reading it but um if there if there are viewers that i trust whose whose tastes align well with mine um, then I might forego it, like I might just not pay attention to it anymore or my, it might come off my CBR. Um, I just, I know my tastes well enough and I am pretty good at sort of having a good, a gut feeling of how I might 
interact with the book and and so yeah I think those are some of the some of the that's some of the context that I need in which to, and before I'm able to make that decision. Where do you view book reviews outside of booktube and what is your preferred format? Short, long video, print, etc. Uh, I will I will read reviews on Instagram. Um, that's basically the only other booktube and bookstagram are my two sort of main bookish content platforms and so everything that I view or post or whatever for the most part is going to be in those two. Number eight, at what point do, do you view reviews of a book you are reading before, during, or after and do you seek out reviews similar to your own or opposing? I will wait to read reviews. Um, I, will, I won't actively search out reviews until after I'm done with the book. Uh, you guys know that I love to go into my books blind, um, knowing as little about them as possible once I hear about a book and sort of determine whether I think this is something that I want to read or not. Um, I don't, I don't look for other things. Um, in the case of one of the questions earlier where it says that you are somehow made aware of negative reviews of a book that you want to read, that would happen if I'm reading, if I'm watching wrap-ups. For the most part that's the, actually the only time that it would happen because um, I'm not gonna search out reviews of just this book because I don't want to sway myself one way or the other. So the only way that in which I would hear about the overall reception of a book would be through different wrap ups. And yeah, I won't and when I do search for re reviews after I'm done reading it, um, typically it's when I might be on the edge of a rating. Um, and I'm trying, like I know there are things that I'm thinking but I can't really conceptualize well or um, just like I'm having some, I need more time to think about it and in which case I will read reviews but I will read them, um, I will read positive and negative reviews just to sort of get, see if there's anything that I read that I'm like, that's what I'm thinking, that's exactly what I felt or, or something like that. But for the most part, I don't really seek out reviews. Not not individual ones like that. Stand out from the crowd. Which number nine? Which book have you read with the lowest rating on Goodreads that you have loved? I have no idea. Let me see if I can go on my red shelf. And so the lowest ever rating of a book that I have <laughs> read was La Gran Aventura de Alejandro by Abby Cantor, and I read this for a Spanish class, so I don't even know that that counts. Um that you love. Death by Coffee by Alex Erickson has a three average and I gave it a three. Um, the Witches by Stacey Schiff, um, it's a non-fiction book, um, it has a 3.25 average rating and I gave it a four star. I thought that was, I wouldn't say that I loved it, but I thought it was a good well-researched book that made a good argument about you know that it, it brought up it, it made me learn a lot and so i i appreciated it um although to be honest i probably i don't know that i would keep it at four now but um one of the lowest on here of my red one is the pain guess has a 3.44 average but i gave it a five star so that is this book here by sarah waters is the first sarah waters that i read and I think maybe because it was my introduction into her writing style and into her sort of world, <laughs> um, I loved it a lot. But I, I really couldn't stop thinking about this book after I read it. I loved the characters. I loved the relationship. I love how intense it was. So yeah, I mean... I loved it. I, so yeah, I mean, it's still, I, I would say it's still a favorite. So we'll, we're going to go with that one. Uh, number 10, which book have you read with the highest rating on Goodreads that you hated? Ooh, interesting. I'm not finding one yet. The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller, I did not hate it, but I definitely didn't like it as much as everybody else did. Um, and it's probably just because I'm not as into, um, mythology is a lot of other people and so I just didn't care as much as other people. I see there's one that I hated that everybody else loved. 
Oh, this one, I did, I again didn't hate it, but I definitely was super, super duper disappointed by it. And it was The Princess Bride by William Goldman. It has a 4.25 average rating and I gave it a three star. And I just didn't enjoy my time with it. I didn't like the characters. Um, the romance sucked. He hits her. Um, I thought that I didn't like the sort of gimmicky um, narration style. It just, I, I have seen parts of the movie and I love it. And I've loved it. And I think if I sat down and watched the whole movie, I would really, really enjoy it. But I just didn't, I didn't really get on with the book. Um, I didn't like it as much as I thought I was going to like it, and I didn't like it as much as other people seem to like it. But yeah, that is the book reviewer tag. If you enjoyed this and would like to do it yourself, feel tagged and let me know that you have done it so that I can check it out. As always, thank you for watching and for listening. I love you all very much.